Welcome to COM2320, Intro to Media Production, Chapter 3's Video Podcast. I'm putting together this little video podcast for you, for you to review on Chapter 3. I would also recommend that you go back and listen to the lecture cast because it will be much more detailed than what I'm about to do for you on video. But what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is producing and some production management. Uh, you need to understand, first off, producer is a person who is above the line and is a very uh, multitasking type of individual. You'll find that uh, they're a serious risk taker and yet they're very creative, not only in their administration, but also in their ability to create documents that are necessary to help, you know, bring across an idea, you know, about something you're going to do, whether it's, you know, a television show or a film or a radio program or even creating music and web content as well as commercial content. So a producer is a very specialized individual who has to have specialized skills. Um, you'll also find that producers can be what are called independent producers, and these are individuals that do everything for themselves. All right, They t work on all different types of projects. You'll also see that producers can be hired by executive producers or production companies and assigned certain products. And those types of producers are usually in charge of creating budgets, dealing with the legalities, making sure copyrights are good, um, supervising supervising crews, supervising directors even. And then there's executive producers. And executive producers are usually in charge of all of a production. They hire producers and they could oversee hiring directors, but mainly their job is to delegate as well as go out and raise capital for whatever type of communications uh, event that you're getting into. And executive producers are very heavily involved in the pre-production and development. Most of the times, producers deal with pre-production, all right? Now, producers do deal with the production side of it, but a lot of times they're involved in solving problems. So, again, producers are very important in taking, you know, an, an idea and making it happen. And to do that, a lot of times, you know, they have to research that idea. Not only, you know, what the concept is, but also, is it marketable? You know, has there, you know, been something done very similar to it? Um, is there, you know, success in the background of, you know, this concept? And I think another thing that's important is the timing of these concepts are important. And producers kind of weigh all of these things. So they create production goals and they have objections for these production goals. Um, they want to make sure that the, you know, the concept, the ideas, or have shared ideas, that we can do these ideas, and that the people you surround yourself uh, feel charged with these ideas and feel charged with completing the tasks to successfully achieve those goals. So, you know, knowing how to motivate individuals and how to research is very important. A lot of times producers have to go into proposal writing. Uh, usually that involves creating, you know, documents that help raise money. Uh, they have all types of, you know, forms, but generally they have open statements of purpose, um, included maybe a budget, maybe a shooting schedule, uh, maybe a little information on the audience as well, and uh, maybe involve some summaries of the people involved, like who the director is and maybe who the actors are. Um, they also come up with um, various other, you know, pieces of documentation, like where's locations going to be. And they put all these together and they go out and they present them to potential investors. So you'll often hear, let's do lunch, as producers like to get together to try to, you know, persuade people to invest in their ideas. So a good pitch and having a good, you know, communication skills I think are very important as a producer. Um, we mentioned earlier you should understand the legality of what you're involved in. So lawyers are very good friends of producers. They help with copyright ideas, but they also help with obtaining rights for music as well as dealing with a lot of the unions. Most labor involved in productions 
um, are involved in some form of union. And that doesn't only include the technical side. Don't forget that there's actors' unions as well. So a lawyer is a good person to have um, with you as a producer. Sometimes producers are lawyers, but for the most part, um, having a good friend who's a lawyer who understands the entertainment industry is not a bad thing to do. So production management for a producer may involve, you know, supervising, you know, the crews, acquiring equipment, you know, where do I go rent stuff, acquiring rights, how to use, you know, certain gear, scheduling, you know, not only rental gears, but production staff, and also, you know, acquiring facilities, renting places for us to do this. But another thing that I think is important in the production management for a producer is understanding how to break down a script. Once you read a script as a producer, um, you break that script down. A lot of times you do it before the director because you're looking at, you know, making schedules up, uh, creating budgets. How much is it going to cost to do this project based on a script? And every script, you know, is different and requires different settings and camera angles and actions from actors. So it's important um, that you understand that from reading a script, you can break it all down into these little elements that will help you assign dollars to it and that's important because you need to come up with you know a cost factor involved in a lot of this so you can see that producers not only have to understand you know how to take scripts and break them down into these elements you know of being able to assign dollars to them but they also have to be able to deal with people you know they have to be able to solve problems with crew and actors and even even with directors and then they have to have other skills like being able to go out and talk about the project and make people excited about it and get them to invest so a producer is someone who has really good communication skills as well as good knowledge in the production process